Hello and welcome to this Tech Check Plus live stream. I'm Frank Holland here at Walmart Global Tech Media Day at Walmart headquarters in Northwest Arkansas. And I'm joined by Walmart's Chief Information Security Officer, Jerry Geisler. Jerry, thank you so much for your time. Hey, thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Great to be here. So this is a big day for Walmart. You're going to talk a lot about tech and your cybersecurity. So I want to touch on one thing. Uh, globally, Walmart has 230 million customers every week, and more and more they're paying in digital ways, cards, apps, phones, etc. How important is cybersecurity to your customers? Cybersecurity is critically important to our business uh, who serves our customers. So as we enable our business by protecting digital ecosystems and protecting the data and the information that our customers entrust us with, um, from that respect, it is very important to our customers. So Walmart's slogan is save money, live better. We all know it. We've seen it on commercials and everything else. Part of that brand promise is not only low prices, but product availability. And as people come and spend their money, I would think that cybersecurity is inherently part of that brand promise. How important is it, do you believe, to your customers to know that when they swipe their card or use an app, that their data is secure and also their payment method is secure? At Walmart, we want to provide a good product at a good value for our customers. And ideally, we wouldn't want them to have to worry about information security. We would want them to know that we are meeting our commitments that we've made to them to, to adequately and proactively protect any information that they've shared with us. Okay. In addition to your retail business, Walmart is actually growing its businesses. Uh, you have a marketplace with, a, with over 100,000 third-party sellers. You're also moving into the buy now, pay later space. As you move into these different lines of businesses, how are you viewing cybersecurity? Of course, you want to grow those businesses, but how does cybersecurity play a part in that? Where cybersecurity is concerned, we're, we're going to be very consistent across all of our lines of business. And we're here to enable the tech teams that support the business and ultimately to enable the business so that we can deliver to our customers the experiences that they expect and deserve. Right. When we're talking about cybersecurity, there's a difference between personal cybersecurity and, of course, corporate cybersecurity. Um, of course, I'm sure you're assessing threats all the time and monitoring them. We're here at your global tech hub here in northwest Arkansas. When you look at threats when it comes to cybersecurity, are most of those threats focused on people trying to get the data of your customers or trying to get into the systems of Walmart? Really what we see in terms of the threat landscape is largely its targets of opportunity. Um, so it's incumbent upon any organization to minimize the likelihood that any of the data that they hold uh, is subjected to, to risk or, or threats. When we're talking about data, uh, Walmart has a very large swath of data. Not only do you have payment information, in many cases I'm sure you have birthdays and social security numbers. Um, when you're looking at those different data sets that you have, um, how do you protect them? Is, there, is it about encryption? Is it about zero trust architecture? I mean, what directions do you take it? We don't typically get into exactly how we protect it, but suffice it to say, we deploy best-in-class technologies backed by best-in-class technologists. Um, and, and we're a student of not only our business, but also where tech is headed, how information security is evolving, and, and we really strive to be a, a forward-leaning, innovative practice to make sure that we're not lagging in any way in this space. I want to talk about the technologist in just a second and your efforts to actually build your own pool of technologists. But first, you mentioned where cybersecurity is going. Um, we've heard a lot of, about cyber threats globally and macro issues that create cyber threats, whether it's the Russia-Ukraine war, other things going on in Asia, whether it be China or Korea. Where is cybersecurity going right now as far as your company and where do you see the threats coming from? Again, I, I believe threats largely are, are targets of opportunities, and they come from they come from any number of actors with any number of motivations. For us, our first interest is in protecting our organization. So again, we're going to be students of that threat landscape to ensure that we are properly positioned to protect the company in any way that would be necessary. All right, let's talk about technologists. Um, in the United States, and even globally, there's a shortage of cybersecurity professionals. How does Walmart deal with that issue where there's so many companies seeking these cybersecurity professionals and their skills are in demand? Yeah, we're fortunate in that Walmart recognized the criticality of information security or cybersecurity programs well over two decades ago. So over the last two decades, we've had a lot of investment and a lot of um, opportunity to mature our programs and practices 
and that attracts some practitioners into our space that want to join a, um, a mature organization with a lot of different capabilities and opportunities. Um, but beyond that, we work to grow our own talent uh, internally. We invest in our people uh, to give them meaningful work um, and a career that would be fulfilling. And we look to attract people in that maybe hadn't traditionally considered uh, a technology role or a cybersecurity role. I think that's evidenced by Walmart's Live Better You program, where we fully fund our associates to pursue degrees, among which are cybersecurity degrees, which again, I think reflects the commitment uh, our company has to the cybersecurity space. Um, we've already had 140 people graduate with cybersecurity degrees. We have another 2,600 currently pursuing a cybersecurity degree through that program. We also plug into um, veterans groups. In the last nine years, the company's hired half a million veterans and veteran spouses, um, many of which have joined our programs here. And we also focus on engaging with communities that have historically been underrepresented in tech and in information security. So what you're describing is you basically building a pipeline to fill your own needs. Um, as you build that pipeline, what are the needs that you have going forward when it comes to cybersecurity, information security, and data privacy? The needs that we have going forward are, are quite varied. Um, if, if there is a skill in technology, we likely have a, a need for it because we're, we work horizontally across all of our tech and all of our technologies and, and all of our business units. So we look for practitioners in any number of fields uh, or specialties within the cybersecurity venue. Uh, we've had some recent news about tech layoffs across a wide range of tech companies. Microsoft, the most recent to announce layoffs. When it comes to Walmart and your tech ambitions, are you worried about layoffs or are you actually hiring and trying to bolster your staff? It, Walmart's on a digital transformation journey. And part of that journey is the work that tech is doing. And, and certainly information security is part of that journey. Our hope is if we get that right in terms of that digital transformation, that our customers continue to reward us with their business. If they do that, then our business remains healthy. With regard to Walmart information security, we're hiring. So when you say you're hiring, are you hiring people to start maybe possibly at a lower level and work their way up? Or are you looking for very experienced, seasoned people that are ready to, to do the work that you need done right away? We, we have roles for both. If you're, if you're new in the career, new in the field, looking to get into the field, or if you have 20 years of experience uh, on your resume, we hire all of the above. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be happy to hear that. I wanna come full circle with you. You have the trust of your customers when it comes to prices and product availability. If you could talk to your customers, I know you're talking to me, but if you could just talk to your customers directly, some of them, I'm not saying all of them are a majority, but I'm sure some of them are very mindful about their cybersecurity and even at times worried about it. What would you say to them? You know, for our customers, I, I would say, Walmart has invested very significantly in the programs that we run here to ensure that we maintain our customer's trust. It is the reason that we're all here. Uh, the customer that comes through our stores, visits our sites, that's why, we're, that's why we're all here. And we keep them centrally focused in everything that we do. Looking forward at Walmart and cybersecurity, um, is there something that you're really focused on. One big thing, one big takeaway for everybody, is it about payments? Is it about personal data? Is it about your, your third party sellers? Is there one number one top of mind focus when it comes to this team? You know, our, our number one focus is and, and will continue to be to enable our business. So Walmart wants to serve the customer where they want to be served and how they want to be served. And that often drives changes in technology and we want to meet the customer where they want to be. There you go. Jerry, thank you again for your time. So again, that was Jerry Geisler, Chief Information Security Officer of Walmart. We're here at Walmart's global tech hub when it comes to information security and cybersecurity. That's it for now. Thank you again for watching this Tech Check Plus live stream.